Welcome along. My name is Chris Roberts and this is Roberts Dev Talk. Now, if you build Node applications with TypeScript, did you know you can use the built-in Visual Studio Code debugger to directly debug your TypeScript, set breakpoints, step into your code and so on. This is a really useful tool. It's easy to configure. It just requires a couple of changes to your project settings and here is how you do it. <laughs> So I've created a very basic TypeScript app in Node with a couple of files. I have a greeter class, which just takes a greeting in the constructor. And I have my main.ts file, which simply imports the greeter class, creates a new greeter, and then calls the greet method. Now this of course is a very simple example, but it could just as easily be a very complex nest framework project. Now I want to be able to set up some breakpoints and step into my code. So to configure TypeScript debugging, I just need to perform a couple of steps. First, I need to install some packages into my dev dependencies in package.json. Because these are in dev dependencies, they won't be included in the production build. So I'll go to my terminal and I'll run npm install and then dash dash save dev to specify my dev dependencies. And then I want the ts-node package and the ts-config-paths package. I'll run that to install those packages. Now just a side point, if you're using a TypeScript framework like Nest, for example, those packages may already be included. So double check your package.json file. If they are, you can skip that step. Next, I'm going to go to my debug panel in VS Code and I'm going to click create a launch.json file. Then I'll select Node.js. Now VS Code has created a template debug configuration for us. And so we can debug our TypeScript. We just need to make a couple of changes. First, we'll just change the name of the configuration to debug TypeScript. Now, if we look at our program property, this is the entry point into our application. In this case, the main.ts file. If you're working with a nest project, it's also main.ts, but it could of course be app.ts or index.ts. If VS Code doesn't detect this for you, you can simply add your path in here using the workspace folder placeholder as shown, so you don't have to put an absolute path in. Now, underneath program, we're just going to add an extra property, and this is going to be a runtime args. And these are the arguments that are passed our node runtime when the application is started up. So we're going to add dash r for require. And then we're going to add ts dash node for slash register. And then dash r again for require. And then ts config dash paths for slash register. And that's pretty much it. That's all we need to debug our TypeScript. But I will just add another property, which is console and set that to integrated terminal so that our debug information is printed out into the terminal and not the debug console. So we'll save that. Now we're back in our source code. Let's stick a breakpoint in on greeter.greet in our main.ts and inside our greet method on the greeter class. And we can simply start debugging either by going to run start debugging or we could go to our debug panel and click the play icon or we could just simply press F5. So we'll just click run and then start debugging. Our debugger will start up. And notice we've hit our breakpoint. We can play through and hit our breakpoint in our greet method. And notice in our debug panel, we've got all the information about our application state. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tip. It's something I find very useful when building my Nest framework projects. Let us know in the comments below if you've got any questions about this or suggestions for future quick tips like this. Thank you so much for watching. Happy coding, and we'll see you in the next video.